So something that you can really do to help out your jungler is coming over here. And so normally, so just like stand in here. Just like right in the middle? Yeah, just for now. Now walk into the bush. And then like somebody will, like the jungler slash your AD will probably like scout for you. And this way you can let your passive um, sprout some seeds. Sprout seeds where though? Well, that's the thing. It kind of pseudo randomly happens. But since you're standing in here, it spawned it in there. And then, and then it tries to spawn them into brushes. So you're probably standing actually a little too close to that. So why don't you walk over here? You can't the desert. So why do we want to spawn seeds? Is it for vision reasons? No. So these ones don't give you vision. It's the ones that, um, or maybe they do give you slight vision. I don't remember. But uh, it's the ones that you place with W that definitely give you vision and then give um, vision when they get walked over. So the idea here, so we can just go to lane now. So the idea here is that when the jungle camp spawns, then you can cast Q on the seeds, and then it leashes it for the jungler. Oh, there we go, it's shooting. Yeah. So do you have to cast the Q like right on top of it in order for it to do stuff? It has to be like really close. It's pretty close, it doesn't be like right oh, Wait, I'm fighting myself. Yeah, because I took a bunch of the damages. No, I mean like I'm fighting. Another Zyra. Yeah. <laughs> Not like I'm fighting I by see. myself. Like, why am I, what am I doing here by myself? So if I want to spawn a seed on purpose... It has to be W. And Wait. then will it attack as well? No, you have to cast Q on it. But once I do that, it'll attack. Yeah, it's the same seed. Or Let's like see. it's a similar seed. Do they that. like look different? Yeah, they do look different. Um, it's so that your enemies can distinguish between the two because only the ones that you spawn with W when you walk over them will it give vision of the enemy. So maybe you could try helping me clear the wave by like casting spells on your plants back here. Because that does way more damage than like hitting the minions in the, with the Q, you know what I mean? Having the the plant spawn and do that much more damage is really valuable. Which is remember we were discussing the other day how Zara works as a support because of the fact that she can do so much damage with so little. It's because when the plants attack a lot, her base damage adds up a whole lot. Oh my god! How are there so many? How are they all in a line? That's so convenient. I guess she just got lucky. Slash probably casted a few with W. The idea is to, I guess, use your W to make the most of where they happen to spawn with your passive, kind of? Really, it just depends on the scenario. So I guess sometimes yes, because if you don't happen to have a seed where you want one, then you're just going to cast W to get one exactly where you want one. Oh, shooting him! I don't have to take power damage. That's kind of nice. I guess we can use the minions as an example, maybe. So let's say I have a seed, okay. and then somebody steps on it. It just automatically dies, right? If it's a champion, right. So not the minions. Not the minions. So these guys can walk over it all they want, and it's going to be fine? Yeah, they have like a timer. Eventually they just disappear. So I can cast Q on them, and they'll just shoot them? Yep. And then if there were a, a champion here, if you auto attack the champion, then your plants would auto would attack the champion too. Okay. So do people like when they're playing against Zyra, do people just run around stepping on her seeds on purpose? Uh if they think it would benefit them, then they would. Because oh, like that's a way of playing against her is to like disable her seeds basically? Yeah, but there's it comes with the risk too that she'll just spawn a plant. Get away from me, Zara. Thank you. Yeah, the Zara. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Like, if you just push E, nothing happens, right? Yes, this happens. Right. So, why don't you try holding E and then releasing it on top of Lux? Nothing happens. <laughs> when you release E? 
Stay still. Yeah. Can I do the same thing with me? Two. Yes. Yeah. Go. Ah. So what were you doing before? Before I was pressing the button and then clicking. I see. But I like that a lot more. Yeah. So if you ultimate now. Then yeah, see the you CC the the Mundo, and then he was slowed. Oh. 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 What did I click with my W? You clicked him, but he um his ultimate makes him immune to ground control. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I already feel like this is not gonna go well. <laughs> you didn't come immediately. How dare you? Oh, she loves you. See. Maybe it'll be a great game. <laughs> I'm suspicious. So, this is a time when you actually probably need to be really careful because, like, most of their team just died. And they're all gonna come back stronger than they were before. And you guys are still, like, low, like you're low health, misfortune has no mana, I wouldn't stay here. Yeah, my instinct is to back. Like, if I'm the only one doing that, everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck? I mean, like, you can be fine with, like, that amount of health that you have, currently. Oops. Give her an L. I mean, L somebody. You could also exhaust. That's what I was afraid of happening with you guys sticking around and then you had the same instinct, so like, I know you don't like it, but if we like, spammed a bunch of pings, like if you hit, con if you hold control, click, and then drag up, it does like that wah wah, like, danger, danger. What like the retreat ping? Yeah, or like, yeah, the danger ping. But like, nobody's gonna listen to me because I've been playing poorly this whole time. I mean... They could still see the wisdom in it, right? Like, maybe they're just, they're, it's on the precipice of their mind as well, and all they need is for one other person to be like, yeah, this is a bad idea, and they'd be like, yeah, that's what I thought too, and then they'd back off. Like, you're never gonna, you're not gonna have any influence that way unless you attempt to communicate. Maybe even just like give her the hold now, because it like, it like gives her health basically as well. Just keep buffing her up. Okay. Oh, what the hell? I she feel like you're too close right now. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? A uh, really bad decision, <laughs> what that was. Good job, guys. Not you, Lulu. <laughs> Never you. Thank God she like, decided to run away that time. Yeah. She's getting smarter. She can be taught. I can. <laughs> well, you might not like the sound of it, but sometimes I think you have the, a bit of a tendency of refusal to learn sometimes. I definitely do, because there are things that make me extremely uncomfortable and I don't want to do them. Yeah, but then you're never going to get better. And I know that if I try and learn them, like the process while I'm learning, I'm gonna be worse. Eventually it might be better, but it has to get worse before it gets better, because I'm just like, it's just so foreign to me. Ooh. Spicy. <laughs> spicy. That was real spicy, but hello, holy moly. <laughs> the flash cue. Oh god, Pantheon, what are you doing? Is that ours? Oh, I got the bubble, yeah. Is it ours? <laughs> yes, we have had a pantheon in our team this whole game. <laughs> Being a boss. The mantheon goes in for the double kill. I'm like not doing that bad so far. Yeah, you're doing well. If you choose to use that clip, you'll see me checking the scoreboard before saying yes, you're doing Because <laughs> 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 I was like, I don't actually know what she did. Like. 
Why don't you fucking tell me to use my ult when I'm dead? 